Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create a child theme from a parent theme on WordPress website. So if you don't know what a child theme is or what's the benefit of having a child theme on our WordPress website, let me get uh, the concept clear. So if we go to appearance and themes, we will see like a bunch of themes installed over here, depending on your environment. So basically these themes are parent themes. Okay. So these are standalone themes that we can install and activate and modify. So that's the simplest example. And child themes are, uh, the inherits like let's say styling layout from a parent theme, but acts as a different theme all alone okay so what's the benefit of having child theme you ask let's say if we make changes uh, to this event listing thing over here let's say hard changes like coding changes and all then whenever let's say an automatic update arrives for the event listing theme over here and if we install it what happens it overrides all the previous changes we did to the theme itself let's say we custom wrote like some codes into functions.php let's say we uh, like hard coded some css into the css file for this theme or let's say we changed some uh, layout from the codes as well so they will all get lost and overwritten by the theme update okay so if we have a child theme for this event listing theme over here then what will happen whatever change we make to the child theme will still be there after a theme update arrives and updates the uh, parent theme over here okay so it works as a isolated container type of scenario okay so you have your parent theme that can be updated uh, like seamlessly without worrying about uh, losing code changes or customization changes and then we have our child theme that will contain all the necessary uh, modifications yet will like avail all the functions or like let's say layout and styling from the parent theme so that's the child theme uh, functionalities all it does and we're gonna show you how you can create a child theme or generate a child theme uh, using just a, a plugin from the uh, plugin repository of WordPress. And later on, we're gonna show you how you can do that manually as well. So for this video, it's the plugin way to do it. And join me in our next video where we will see how to do the same by like manually using file edits. For the demonstration, I'm gonna actually uh, go to plugin repository over here and search for a plugin called child theme generator okay child theme generator so we have the plugin over here so it's completely free uh, without any cost we can install the plugin then we will activate then i'm gonna walk you through how you can create your own child theme okay so let's click on activate So we're gonna access the settings section for the plugin we have just installed from the settings and child theme gen over here, okay? So let's go there. And this is the, uh, let's say, plugin page or like setting page over here. So bit of like overview about the plugin over here. This uh, plugin been built by a, a WordPress individual and it's completely free of cost and like doesn't have any pro version as well. So if you want to support the development or let's say the support the author of this plugin, you can click on this donate button over here that will appreciate the work he had done towards the plugin. And there will be a like little video as well over here that you can check out if you are like uh, not finding this video uh, well details enough so there is like um, support guide or like uh, walkthrough over here as well okay so i'm not gonna like uh, spend any more time on the uh, right hand sidebar but let's talk about the functionalities we have over here okay so we have create new tab over here we're gonna check what uh, all the functions we have over here and uh, how we can configure them okay so first we have parent theme okay so here we will find all the themes that has been installed in this website. So even listing that we are using currently. Then we have heading. So heading means like a title for the theme we are creating. Okay. So let's type in even listing child theme for the demo and the description. So let's type in self made child theme. Okay. And then we have child theme URL. Uh, you can like link it to your GitHub, let's say a demonstration uh, website or whatever. You can even leave it blank as well. So I'm gonna leave it uh, to my GitHub as well as of now, okay? So let's say github.com and my ID. 
and then we have the author so you can type in your own name over here author url so that's over here i'm gonna actually override this for the moment and i'm gonna type in my name and the version so it doesn't really matter but if you are like uh, modifying the uh like theme afterwards for your own change log and stuff you can like modify the version as well so i'm gonna leave it uh, like version 1.0 include gpl license it's uh totally like uh dependent on you if you want to include like a general public license or not okay so i'm gonna keep it as default as yes then we're gonna hit on this button that says create new child theme and give it a moment so it says uh even listing child theme writing email listing child theme writing css writing functions and writing screenshot so it automatically creates a theme package for you so our child theme has been already created you even have a like way to check this box and click finish to activate the child theme as well so let's go ahead and do that because why not and we're gonna take a look at the remove child theme tab now okay so let's go there so over here we see the uh, child theme that we have just created over here right so you can remove the child theme that you have created from here as well from this dashboard okay that's all the plugin functionalities we have as of now and we're gonna go to our appearance then themes and you will see that even listing child theme are being shown over here you will have like a way to uh, change this thumbnail as well from the file manager if you want okay so let's go ahead and visit our site and see ourselves how it looks okay so keep in mind this is not the parent theme over here that's even listing this is the indeed child theme we are using over here even listing child theme right and if you look closely the like the theme looks exactly like the even listing theme since you are, it's a child theme and it's editing all the functions or like style sheets or layout from the parent theme that's uh, our even listing theme over here so we can make like tremendous changes for the even listing child theme over here and it, it will lose like no uh, custom coding changes after a plugin update happens for the even listing parent theme so that's how convenient it is to use a child theme make tremendous uh, customization coding like custom coding and all and still have your codes safely uh, saved uh, when a parent plugin theme uh, update arrives and you update it so there will be like no head banging after you like accidentally update your uh, parent theme and lose all your changes if you're not using a child theme so i highly suggest uh, wordpress users to use a child theme and for like beginners especially for non-coding community as well since uh, they can like go on and update the whole entire website using the update section for wordpress including plugin and themes and later on uh, like think what have i done i lost all my code changes and they have to go through all the like revisions and make that modifications all over again so use child themes it doesn't hurt it's good and most of all it's easy to use anyway and now you have a easiest way to generate child theme for yourself using just a plugin uh, in the wordpress environment so this being a short video about how to use a plugin to generate a child theme for yourself in the wordpress uh, website come join me in our next video where we will do the same but not using a plugin instead we're gonna do the manual way and the advanced way until then i'm Sharad saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one